What's up guys, it's Grinnell 52 and welcome back to another video. On today's video we're going to be reviewing the Butterfly V2 playing card. As always, let's get into it. <laughs> Let's get into this review. The tuck case of the butterfly playing cards, which is designed by Andre Kesnica. You might have recognised him from being on Pen and Tennis Ballers, where he filled them with his amazing butterfly playing cards version one. Now the V1s had uh, a different tuck design than this one, which is featured here. And as you can see, this is the version two. So the tuck case is quite minimal. We have a white tuck with this black butterfly on the front, and these are the blue cards. You have this blue bottom box and this little red strip here. Now on the V2s, which are red, you have a red part on the bottom, and then it's got this little blue strip going all the way around. As you pop the flap on the lid, you have part of the back design on there, and on the top is this butterfly playing card, and the inside flaps do have the same. These playing cards come with a blank card and two jokers, one with black butterfly silhouette and one with a paisley floral print on the inside there. Now look, this is the back design. So the back design features these two but sort of silhouette butterflies. You've got this garden floral scene all the way around and you have this star in the centre, looks like a star flower, which is gorgeous. These cards are printed on Cartamundi's B9 True Linen, which gives them a really long durability. They're steel cut, but that has caused a couple of issues. So a lot of people with the V1 said that you can't bury them straight out of the box. I'm gonna give it a go. Prove them wrong. Like most cut money cards, they do they are thicker than normal playing cards, but they are more durable. You've got this linen weave going across the top and the face of the playing cards. They are really glossy when you first get them out, but they do hold up really well when using them all the time. So it's definitely something to consider whether or not you're gonna go for a cut like a card, card, UPC card. Just think about how you prefer your stocks. The faces of the playing cards are basically the same as any normal playing card out there although that with the v2s they've increased the sort of hip size um, and the court card faces are increased as well with the only real customization coming from the ace of spades which has a black floral design which is similar to that at the back so in terms of aesthetics i'm going to give these a 11 out of 13 i think they're gorgeous i love the pattern and i love that it's borderless as well in terms of handling because it's cards are to be nine they do handle really well if you're used to that kind of stock they do feel really good in your hand so i'm going to give that a 10 out of 13. in terms of durability i'm going to give these a 12 out of 13 and in terms of practicality now this has three different marking systems on the cards, which I'm not gonna go into because it's not my card to show you that. But what I will tell you is they are very practical and it is quite easy to read suit and number on here once you learn it. So because of that and how ingenious that is, I'm gonna give it an 
12 out of 13 as well. Which means that these cards have got a total of 46 out of 52. Anyway guys, I hope that you have a good day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like, you subscribe and you comment below. And as always, boy.